Welcome to today's 3D print. I thought I'd show you guys my Simplify 3D settings for um, my CR10. Um, I wouldn't call these perfect, but um, I'm getting you know decent results with them for now. Um, I'm just putting everything back the way it was because I have it set for single outline corkscrew. That's the one. I'm usually right around there. Everything else looks good. Okay, don't need that. Okay. Um, for my CR10, my nozzle diameter is 0.4. My extrusion multiplier is 0.96. My extrusion width is manually set to 0.4. My retraction is set to 7.5 to 35 millimeters a second. Can I zoom in on this? I can probably give you a fake zoom. And with the resolution of this device, it's probably going to be enough. There we go. Yeah, I can read that on the screen, so that means you'll be able to read that too. Okay. So, nozzle diameter 0.4, extrusion multiplier 0.96, manual width of 0.4, retraction 7.5, retraction speed 35, I have no coast or wipe enabled. For my layers, I have 0.2. I use three solid top and three solid bottom with two perimeters. If it's a part that I want to be stronger, I will um, use three perimeters. And if I am going to attempt to use light infill to reduce the amount of plastic, I'll increase the, um, at the minimum, I'll increase the top solid layers to four, maybe five. Um, I always use a skirt, two outlines, 10 millimeters from the object. If the object is large, I'll bring this down to two millimeters so I don't exceed my print um, volume. Infill, I typically use 15%, outline overlap 15%, extrusion width 100, minimum five. I have the sparse infill set for one. I For decorative, I use full honeycomb. For strength, I use rectilinear grid. Um, I only use support when necessary. I run my extruder at, I typically run at 215 Celsius unless um, uh, the plastic calls for it. Uh, for example, the terracotta filament I use. By the way, do not use that on a print and Z surface. It welds it to it. It's a hell of a job getting it off. But anyway, um, I ran at like 200. It didn't like being so hot. And um, the wood fill liked hotter. It liked being at 230. But I typically start at 215. Heat bed at 50 unless I'm running something that needs hotter. Cooling, I run layer 1 at 0, layer 2 at 25%, and then layer 3 I hit 90%. Um, I don't like running 100% because it's noisy. 90% is 99% as effective as um, 100%, but significantly less noisy. I did not change anything in here except to put in 300, 300, 400 with an offset of 000, zero, zero min, min, min. And uh, flip build table access was already checked for Y, so I'm not sure if I should be messing with that. I just assumed left it alone. Um, for my script, I run G28 to home. Then I run the G1Z5 F3000 to lift um, G1X40 Y2 F1500 to clear the binder clips, then bring it back down to 0.2 and prime the nozzle, reset the extrusion distance, and do a quick wipe. Then it begins the print. Uh, the ending script, I have G28X home X axis. I added that so that the head would move all the way to the left and clear the print and not sit there on top of the print. Um, then I have turn off the cooling pad, turn off extruder heat, turn off bed heat, and then disable steppers. Um, under other, I do not think I changed anything in here. Um, I typically run at 1.7 for filament, although that really should be 1.72. Um, Let's see, that might explain a tiny bit of my slight over extrusion. Not much, but a little bit. Um, outline under speed, 50%. So you get that nice, clean outer wall. And then at the end here, I, I always enable avoid crossing outline for travel movements, and I set it for 200. That's one way to completely uh, eliminate stringing. Um, these are all left alone. I left them stock standard alone uh, that's it that's my settings for simplify 3d for the cr10 
And that's how I get the prints that I get. I got this. That's that lattice cube. No stringing whatsoever. It came out quite nice. My quarter counters, you know, they came out very nice. Although I have a feeling the zits are in between the circles. Because this one, for example, definitely has some zits. Very, very minor. I mean, they're very minor zits. But they're definitely there. And so I would like to work on getting rid of them. And you're having a tough time seeing that with the screen in the way. So I am going to swivel down. One moment. That's much better. Here is that lattice cube. I'll be posting a separate video on this. My quarter counters. That's all using these settings. The little glider, the business card glider. Um, I printed a couple of tools. Here's a, a little Marvin I printed just a, a few minutes ago using the marble filament from this one's Maker Box. A little coin sorter. You know, and it does thread. I had to I had to fight with it to get the, one of them to thread, but it works. I still have some zitting. Come on. Focus here, please. There we go. You can see I still have some zitting. It's very minor. You can just feel it. It's smaller than Braille. But I would like to work on getting rid of that. Because it is, it's ugly. I don't want it all to look like that. My top and bottom layers come out very nice. I even did my number sign for the house. <laughs> so I needed one more top layer to get past the pillowing. Um, I'm not going to reprint that though. You'll never see that from a car. And that's it. Um, if anybody has any questions, ask away.